Welcome to the Military Africa channel. Today, we delve into the fascinating history of the Douglas C-47 Dakota, a workhorse that has served the South African Air Force for an incredible 80 years. From its origins in World War II to its crucial role during the Border War, join us as we explore the enduring legacy of this iconic aircraft. The C-47 Dakota is one of the most famous and successfully designed aircraft in aviation history. Quite unassuming in appearance, it became a legend in its own time. No other aircraft has been able to match the love, trust and respect that the C-47 has earned in over 70 years of service. Origins in World War II The aircraft was developed as the military variant of the Douglas DC-3 passenger airliner which first flew in 1937. Recognizing its military potential, the United States Army Air Corps, later to become the United States Army Air Force, required a utility aircraft to carry out a number of special tasks and specified a number of changes needed to make the aircraft acceptable for military use. These included more powerful engines, utility seating along the walls in place of conventional airline seats, a stronger rear fuselage and floor and the addition of large loading doors. In all, more than 50 versions of the aircraft were constructed for the U.S. Army Air Force. In 1943, as World War II raged, the South African Air Force introduced the Dakota into service. Remarkably, some of the last Dakotas delivered were manufactured during the conflict itself, originally intended for the U.S. Army Air Forces. The Dakota, also known as the Skytrain, became a stalwart of the South African Air Force. The C-47 was capable of transporting 4,536 kilograms of cargo or 27 passengers. Without the cargo door, the aircraft could carry 28 passengers in permanent seats and this configuration was mainly used in the paratroop drop roll. The aircraft's most prominent claim to fame during the Second World War was its deployment in support of most of the major Allied airborne assaults. The Border War During the long-running conflict in Southwest Africa, now Namibia, and Angola, the Dakota played a pivotal role. It transported troops, facilitated resupply missions, conducted medical evacuations, and even supported paratroopers. The Dakota's importance was magnified by the sanctions on apartheid South Africa, which complicated equipment procurement. During the border war in the 1970s and 1980s, the Dakota continued to serve as an important short-haul and supply aircraft despite its age. It could not boast being bigger, better, faster or more beautiful than any of the other, more modern, transport aircraft in the South African Air Force and its carrying capacity was strictly limited. However, it had very few vices and was sufficiently sturdy to handle rough conditions and it was simple to maintain. The fleet's heyday. By the 1980s, the South African Air Force boasted the world's largest operational fleet of C-47s, with nearly 50 airframes. These Dakotas also took on maritime surveillance duties, contributing to search and rescue operations. Their versatility and reliability made them indispensable. The early 1990s saw a large number of Dakotas upgraded to Turbo Dock, configuration under Project Felstone. This conversion somehow changed the unique radial engine character of the aircraft and brought to an end the operational service of the conventional C-47 in the South African Air Force. The turboprop version of the Dakota was then brought into service with No. 35 Squadron to replace the aging Avro Shackleton in the long-range maritime reconnaissance role. The end of an era. But all good things must come to an end. The South African Air Force currently has eight C-47TP airframes, affectionately known as Turbo DAX. Unfortunately, they've been grounded for two years due to a lack of maintenance providers. The Dakota C-47TP is a very old aircraft, thus the support for this aircraft is very limited in South Africa and the world. Due to the age of the aircraft, it is no longer supported by the original equipment manufacturer. There are no aircraft maintenance organizations with a Dakota C-47TP stipulated on the operational specification. Retirement and Legacy 
Recently, 35 Squadron, the last operator of the Turbo DAX, received the news, the aircraft will be phased out. Although the formal announcement is pending, the writing is on the wall. As a poignant symbol of their service, there is already at least one retired South African Air Force C-47 on display at the South African National Museum of Military History in Johannesburg. In South Africa, the dock's long and varied service made it one of the more recognized and loved piston engine aircraft. Many are still flown by private operators and by both the South African Air Force and South African Airways Museums. From World War II to the present day, the C-47 Dakota has faithfully served South Africa. Its legacy lives on, reminding us of the courage, sacrifice, and endurance of those who flew and maintained these venerable warbirds.